hello friends welcome to our youtube channel uh, in this video we'll see how can we uh, create a daylight with benching okay and uh, as you see here on this side this part if you see the channel is around uh, 1220 we have uh, large coats okay so uh, we can actually select this and let's see i will show you so this part here this part here is in cut okay last cut so normally to stabilize this slope so uh, we can actually bench it if uh, it's uh, stable enough depending upon and you you, you need to have a proper analysis of uh, the slope that you uh, have to cut maybe i will uh, show some analysis in uh, one of my videos so in this video we'll just create the daylight okay so let's say uh, first step, let's create the assembly for it, okay? So uh, let's remove this assembly, cut till assembly uh, on both sides. Maybe from this point onwards, I will just apply to till this point for so just demo purposes, okay? So let's remove this and then we go to our tool palette and here on the uh, daylight uh, palette here. And uh, we have the daylight bench, this default, or you can create yourself uh, using the sub assembly composer. Okay, so for daylight bench, we click it and then we just add where you want to add it at the end. Okay, and another also at the end. Okay, cool. So both sides we have this, uh, or you can just create, let's create one and maybe we customize it and then we can just mirror it. Okay, so. First one, we select this and check the properties. Okay, so you see, it is repetitive benching. Okay, here it's cut slope. You have to define. Okay, you can change it if you want, like uh, make it a bit steeper. Three is two, uh, two. Okay, and, and uh, the maximum cut height is the the height that we cut. Like if there is a bench like this. Uh, okay let's create a polyline to just demonstrate this um, okay if the benching is like this you know you do the benching like this okay so this height should be defined so that's the height that we are looking at it right now here so maximum height it will say okay and you have to define the maximum i'll just keep it default no problem and fill slope also uh when this one also has the fill slope Okay, so if it's in fill, then also do the benching. Okay, we can do the benching for the fill as well. If the fill is large enough, okay, so I just keep it like that and uh, bench slope here. So this slope here, this slope from this, so that water comes uh, to the bottom. And then if we go down, the rounding option, and these are uh, okay, different, different layers that it can have, okay. So this is not much concern right now. Okay, just, just let's keep uh, for the time being, we just mirror it and apply to both sides. And then we can again, let's see, we will create another uh, assembly daylight and then we check it. Select the corridor, go to corridor properties. And then uh, here we choose another assembly. Okay, this part is highlighted. So we want to change that part only. Okay, so we we'll choose this assembly. Okay, we choose the assembly and say okay and then uh we have to also define the target target is surface okay it's already there very good no problem so we apply to build the corridor okay okay once it's rebuilt so let's go ahead it was around 1200 right so we can verify this from the cross section we go to the cross section here okay you see now this has been applied okay okay so you see here also both sides the uh, benching has been applied this is around 1200 okay yeah see uh, for the time being i just select this and isolate hide it so that uh, hide okay so you see the benching has been applied and the slope on uh, this size are as we specified okay both sides see okay uh and you can verify the height if you want uh, you can verify but now if i want okay if i want 
uh, to have a variable slope okay uh, right now it's repetitive benching okay if you if we if you go to hover over this it will say cut for field daylight slopes with repeating repeating benches okay but we want different bench so what how are we gonna do it okay let's go uh, back to our assembly here okay and one side let me change it for this side okay for this side let's uh, delete this assembly uh, sub assembly and then go to again and we go to the and then we go to the uh, daylight general okay and click on it and then we apply it here okay cool so you have cut fill both here so we select the uh, daylight general assembly and then we go to the properties and in the properties when you now you see there are a lot of like six levels of cut eight uh, sorry eight levels of cut and uh, how many four four levels of fill okay so now you can define it okay so this is uh, actually almost more than enough because uh, this many sources we we don't have much or uh, and you see right now it's already horizontal the width and this is horizontal okay so first first width how much it should be we can define okay so first you start with this so it's zero at zero okay uh, maybe here it will start like that so it will be zero okay so first one is zero okay but uh sorry we have selected it so we go to the properties okay so first is zero and cut slope is also nothing but then it begins with the width second width okay and the uh, cut slope let's say second width is how much so uh we define the width of second part so maybe we say two meters okay and then uh, uh we say the slope the horizontal slope uh, we we'll put maybe 1.5 is to one okay so you see right now here it changed okay okay so now you see this one has been uh the width the two meter width and this one is at slope of one is to one point five okay then we keep selected and then go to the properties again and uh, this one another width now this should be the width of this particular one okay and the slope so let's define the slope and width properties so width again maybe two meter we just say two meter and it should be at maybe two percent okay it's right now horizontal okay so but this should be two percent t is to one okay you see this one is this direction the direction is important so you do it like that and adjust others also yeah, let me put it on side so that it does not uh dock back so like this you can define and then another another one also if it if, if you want it may be different so two is to one okay and uh, sorry this one width so width width maybe you can define variable width so maybe three meter now and also even the this is horizontal right now so you can make it like two as to one okay so this can be different okay and similarly for another one also uh we just define like how much you want like uh maybe uh, first the width which we have to define width maybe four meter now and then then maybe i want it to be like uh how much this uh this this will be also like a slope should have slope so maybe you can define like a different slope also i will keep it the same for this particular and for six slope i would say like width uh, slope slope is horizontal width let me width first the width may be five okay so i'm just demonstrating uh you can have uh, variable slopes okay three is two okay so we have this milder slope even maybe you can have a, a, a steeper slope also okay so like this so this is how we can apply servicing and at the end you have to define the maximum flat slope that will be after these uh, cut edge slopes okay so that you have to define okay so if we if we put it like that then uh, this will work out like uh, 
Okay, let's let's apply this assembly. So we just select the corridor, go to corridor properties. Okay. And then uh, for this again, we have to select the target. So we select all targets. So and uh, the tar target is now missing. So apply. Okay. Don't forget this step. Otherwise, it won't be applied. And apply it. Okay. Okay. So this one is being applied, and we will verify from cross section. Okay. So this one is applied. Let's go to the cross section and see on this side. Right. We have variable one. Because this is uh, left, right side. Okay, so we go to the twelve hundred. Somewhere here it was. Mm, twelve hundred. Okay, here. Wait, even even here we might have, but we have already hidden. You see now. Now huh? this is applied. This is two percent slope. We define two percent again, and this one is. Uh, the first one is two meter width. And uh, you know, at slope of 66 percent, that is one is 1.5 is to one, and uh, this one also two meter, and this one we define like three meter more, okay. And this one is like four meter, something like that, okay. You can see it's 15 and 19, four meter. So, this is how you can define uh, uh daylight with variable slope, okay. Uh, so that's all for this, guys. Hope you guys learned something new, and we will um. In other further video tutorial, we will see how we can use other daylight assemblies uh, to achieve what you actually want to achieve. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching and like, share, subscribe our channel. Have a great time! Thanks.